Hey YouTube, so we're back today with some more State of Decay 2, and man, am I kind of terrified. So, we are carrying on with our lethal run in State of Decay 2, lethal being excessively hard. We have already lost one of our most valued people, Kenneth, and man, <laughs> am I unsure as to how the rest of this is going to go. So one of the things that I do want to try to get done early on is bring in more people. Because unfortunately, um, you, you, you need a lot of people to make your base run. Well, at least you need some people to make your base run. And since I'm already down one person, it's hurting me a bit. But to carry on with where we were in uh, leaving before we do need to carry on building our base and one of the things i want to get built right away is an infirmary and that real. is going to go ahead and take a few minutes but that will get us our main mission completed which is great because if i'm not mistaken one of the first things they have you do We'd be grateful. I'll be right there. is help your neighbors so with All that right, we're going to be able to yes we have with that we will be able to help out uh, some random people that we'll find in the wilderness and uh, hopefully get them to help us build our base <laughs> because I'll be damned if I'm doing it alone uh, so we will be taking Sean out to get some good stuff and things uh, I'm not 100% sure how it's going to go I don't know if we have larger bags or not we do have a larger bag thank you Kenneth for supplying us with the larger bag before you had Sad, sadfully passed away. Um, one of the things I do want to do uh, while the stuff and things are being built is kind of... Uh, I don't know. I suppose, I suppose there's not really a whole lot more in the way of scouting to be done. Although, I'm near positive we finished looting that house. I don't know why it's not looted. I know we didn't loot this gas station. I'm tempted to pick up some gas and hopefully find a repair kit for our car. However, I'm going to go ahead and head over to our new neighbors and see what they want and see what we can do for them. We need to find some new solutions to our problems. Like now. Ooh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm literally working on it right now. <laughs> Let's get over to these new neighbors. Okay, so we have made it to our neighbors. Relatively quiet along the way. Let's go ahead and see How's what they want. And our supply of plague samples is run low. We can find more. We'll have fuel to trade. Oh, okay. We'll take some fuel because then we can get our car running. All that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think the I can handle that. The safest way to collect samples is by killing plague zombies. The best place to find them is in the territory around a plague heart. Yep. Those things basically infect their whole environment. It's not a pretty sight. Or you could just destroy the plague heart itself to get a bunch of samples. That's more dangerous. That's not happening. You better gear up before starting this. Could get messy. Helping out like this is a good way to make friends. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing any There's plague heart killing home. anytime soon. We could use allies out here. Downside is we're already getting tired. <laughs> Mike, oh well, we found our fuel. We've already found the fuel. We don't even we don't even need to help them anymore. Let's just go home. We'll be done. No, I will. Uh, I'll gather some plague samples and hopefully really what I was we'll get for. we'll get something done. <laughs> hey, there's. Oh no! Uh, no! 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 Ow! Ow! All right. So um. Ah. <laughs> no. All right, um, people, people inside, help me. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Help me. Do, do the neighborly thing and kill some, some zombies. I have no guns. I have nothing yet. Oh my gosh, what was that? Oh, this is not okay. There's so many. Okay. Nope, this isn't gonna happen. Alright, just keep. What, why have you stopped attacking? Here, I'm just gonna go ahead and hide up here. Ah, no! What do you stay up top? Okay. 
They're they are doing a wonderful job. They're doing an absolutely fine. Ooh, we got some plague samples. <laughs> they might harvest all the plague samples for us. Um, yeah, we'll let them finish up. Oh my gosh, another food rucksack. Oh my gosh. All right, so we have an ammo rucksack, a food rucksack, and a fuel rucksack all right here. This place is insane. More ammo. And we have a new cowboy hat? No, ear, ear flap hat. We got a crossbow. That's actually huge. Holy crap. We can now kill things from a distance. All right, let's head back to base. Get some uh, get some sleep, or at least have this guy get some sleep, and then we'll come back, hopefully get some more uh, blood plague samples. So I have just gotten myself back to the base, and I will say that switching over to my other character, she's not much better off. She is very hurt. And uh, because of the way that the damage works in this game, she has super little, super limited stamina due to trauma. And now, I don't know. Fingers crossed. Okay, I can, <laughs> I can heal her, but it will literally cost all of our medical supplies. But that does mean that I can take her out, and she can, uh, she can kind of carry us a little bit here until we get things sorted. I did manage to find a gas canister as well, so we will take that. Putting the crossbow back on to help us, you know, <laughs> not die. And let's see about getting the car and bringing that over to our neighbors now. So we are going to try <laughs> to not. That's a plague bloater. We're gonna try to not blow up this car, making sure I didn't leave anything in the trunk. But uh, car damage is ridiculous in the uh, lethal game mode, so I'm gonna try to be really careful and not have this thing blow up on me. So we managed to get the car over to our neighbor's house. We have collected all of the rucksacks from here. We still need one more plague sample, and I'm going to go ahead and try to get some more stealth kills and see about maybe finishing up their mission. Wish me luck. That screamer getting close. <laughs> Last plague sample needed. And we are now coming back with the plague samples that we need to help our community, or at least our neighbors that want the plague these samples. plague samples, I can make something that'll cure blood plague if one of us gets infected. Hey, and now... I'm happy to share the recipe if you need it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Now, Take we care. have another fuel uh, rucksack. We can, in fact, enlist a follower. Um... Hey, I'm not 100% sure on, home. who, well, definitely not her, hey, <laughs> but I'm not entirely sure who I would want to bring on board. We have I really don't care about the sports trivia and such. Anyone else notice? The medicine cabinet's looking pretty empty. Oh, they actually sell an ammo rucksack hey, as well. What's up? 
Let's see, and you have gardening. I don't know. We kind of just need people, right? We just need. Hey, what's up? We just need bodies at this point. We'd let you if join I our recruit group, you him, know, if you want to switch teams. This will disband the remaining members. Um. Here, maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. Give us some more time, and maybe. But yeah, let's get all this stuff back over to base and kind of figure out what we're gonna do next. Just as we pull back up into base, we just got requested, I believe from the same people we just left, flash. to bring them some materials. Thanks. So bringing materials to them is not a bad idea, but it's also a little hard to want to spare some materials right now because we are still so early on. However, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get some, some better prices and things with them, get a, a stronger ally, especially one that's so close to base. Uh, so I will go ahead and grab a rucksack of materials and head that way now. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to repair our car with uh, because that is going to break really, really soon. So I don't want to drive around on it too much. So I may have to make the walk back over to our friendly's base and we'll see how we do. That's worth something. There's another scream, my God. And with every screamer, comes another bloater. Hey, we got an achievement too. So we just finished bringing back another rucksack over to our our, our lovely our lovely neighbors. But there's a, there's a bit of a downside coming over to the neighbors. It's super risky because there's always like four freaking screamers in this little lot right next to their house. Like, I don't know if it's just their location that they chose to live in, or if screamers are really just that abundant. Like, it's not like we're making a lot of noise. There's just screamers and bloaters everywhere in here. And so, it's always super dangerous to come and talk to our neighbors. Oh my god! No, get off me! No, get off! Oh my god! No! Dude. Oh my god! No, okay! So that ends another episode of Lethal Difficulty. I um, have failed you. Uh, I may uh, not um, be able to come back from this. 
Uh, hmm. Um. Uh, I have no words. I will try uh, to see what I can do. I'm guessing that I won't be able to come back from this. I will either come back with this... I'll come back with Sean, or I will come back with a new Enclave in the next episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed. <laughs> um, this one's relatively short. There's not a whole lot going on. At least nothing super useful. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, neighbor, the neighbors got me killed. Apparently there was a feral around the corner from base. I, I have no idea. Well, hopefully next time we have a better run. I was saying to you guys, fly safe, stay absolutely amazing, and until next time, have an amazing day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>